Hello everyone! So today I am here to do my currently reading video for March. I'm not gonna lie, I like, where did March go? Like, it literally feels like February just ended and it's already March 12th when I'm filming this. Like, how is it already March 12th? Like, I, I feel like we're still in January, to be completely honest. I also feel like I've been so all over the place with my reading, like, this entire year. It's either, like, I am reading so freaking much or I'm not reading at all. Like, there's been no in-between so far. And, yeah, at the beginning of this month, I haven't been really reading. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I haven't figured out the pattern for this yet. But, like, I just, I haven't been reading that much, so... Yeah, we're just gonna talk about the one book I am technically in the middle of and then some books that I want to read in the next couple of weeks for myself and for school and stuff and that's about it. The book I'm technically in the middle of, I've been in the middle of for like two weeks because I just, I got, I got the audio which I really like and I just haven't been listening to audiobooks, like completely honest, um, but that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is obviously a book that is a classic, everyone's reading right now because the movie just came out, all of that. Um, I started the audiobook and I did really, really enjoy what I have read of it so far, but again, I just like haven't been in an audiobook mood. Again, I I feel like I've been binging books, especially audiobooks, or like not reading at all, especially audiobooks I've been reading when I'm playing my Switch and I just haven't been playing my Switch. I honestly am kind of like maybe it's the last couple of weeks have been busy, but I've definitely had time to read audiobooks or listen to audiobooks and play my switch. I just haven't really wanted to. I feel like I just really want Animal Crossing com to be completely honest. I don't really want to play anything else. So yeah, I will definitely finish this before the end of the month, hopefully. But I've been in the middle of this for so long. I'm literally like 20 pages in. So there's that first book. And now I guess I'll talk about the couple of books that I have to read for class for the rest of this month. So my independent study that I've been talking about, all of the Peter Pan stuff, we are now done with Peter Pan because my professor said I couldn't only do Peter Pan for the whole semester. So I am also doing The Tempest by Shakespeare. Um, so I will be reading this one next. I will probably be reading this literally in the next like week or so because I need to write up a paper on it for like two weeks from now and it's like my spring break so yeah the tempest i've never read the tempest before and i have no clue what it's about uh but it's shakespeare so i'm pretty excited about it and this i will also be focusing on adaptation so i will be reading a bunch of tempest uh adaptations and stuff yes i will be reading hagseed by margaret atwood and a couple of other different things and watching some movies so i am pretty excited about this but it's definitely like not as exciting as peter pan so, The Tempest. <laughs> uh, I will also be reading Dracula by Bram Stoker. This is from my Victorian literature class, and this will be the first time I'm reading Dracula. I've had this edition on my shelf for so long, and I've always meant to read it, but I just never got around to it. So I'm excited that I have a class that I am kind of being forced to read this. It's a lot bigger than I always thought it was. It's like over 400 pages. So I honestly might be starting this like pretty soon just to be able to actually have it read before um, we have to read it for class. Uh, because I feel like I always think I can read like a 400 page book for class like the week before it's due and it only happens sometimes. So I think I'll probably be starting this one pretty soon. And then because I have no, and then because I'm not really reading right now, I have just like some random books that I'm thinking of picking up. I think the next book that I'm going to be picking up is actually an ARC. Um, I got approved for this ARC on NetGalley, and that is Burn Our Body Down, Bodies Down by Rory Power. Um, this is the, oh my god. This is the author of Wilder Girls, which was one of my favorite books of 2019. So I actually got an arc of that like last March also and I read it early. Um, so I'm really excited that I got approved for her newest book because I also really, really want to read this. I have no clue what this is about. I have not read the description. I have no clue. Um, all I know is it's Rory Power and I'm really, really excited about it. So I think this will probably be my next physical read. I feel like I might read this over um, like spring break. So 
Hopefully I love this. Again, <laughs> why am I like dropping this so much? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, again, I really loved Wilder Girls, so I really, really hope I love her next book because it's always, it's always scary going into someone's second book because it's like, was the first book a fluke? Like, did I just absolutely love this book or do I actually like this person's writing and like all of their works? So I'm scared, but I'm really, really excited for that one. I do think that will be the next one I pick up. But I also have interest in these two other books. Um, I have Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. This is a Anna Karenina retelling about a Korean girl in LA. And I hear that this is just a lot of fun and I feel like I'm kind of in the mood for just like a light kind of fun, like dramatic, angsty kind of YA. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in the mood for that right now. So I think I might pick this up. Also, I did get this early because it was out on book of the month kind of early um but now I'm pretty sure there is an audiobook for it so I might try to look into the audiobook I think this would be a really fun listen so when Animal Crossing does come out and I am inevitably playing for like 13 hours a day I will maybe try to look into the audiobook for this one but yeah, this one sounds so fun and so cute, so I definitely want to try to get to that. And then the book that I really want to try to pick up pretty soon, I don't know if I'll finish it in March. Again, I always say this, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm actually going to read that much for the rest of the month, and I have like 20 days left of the month. Of course I'm going to read a bunch of books, like I just need to get back into my reading groove. So a book that I do hope to read this month is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. As you guys might know, I read Jane Eyre in... January? February? Like sometime earlier this year and I loved it so I was interested in picking up her sister's works because I know they're not the same but I don't know I really like these additions they're really pretty so I was like I'm gonna try Wuthering Heights also I hear I finally learned what this is about and I think it sounds really funny <laughs> basically the way I got this described to me was um a girl falling in love with her brother and angsty and I know it's not her actual brother I think it's like an adoptive brother or something but I'm like I don't know I'm here for the angst and the dark and I hear that this is really really dark especially in comparison to Jane Eyre so I really hope to get to this this month yeah, so yeah. I feel like it's pretty short especially compared to again compared to Jane Eyre it's pretty tiny it's only like 400 pages so in this edition which these editions have a lot more pages than other ones but it's still the same story. It's just the fonting and spacing is actually really nice. So it's like 400 pages. So I feel like it'll be a fun read. Nice. I feel like this would be a good one to also read during spring break to just like cuddle down with like a book and like read kind of thing. That might be fun. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I feel like every time I make a currently reading video, I'm like not actually in a reading mood. So they're just like a mess <laughs> because I don't know. I just... I feel like it's been like a pattern of like the first two weeks of a month I just don't read and I don't want to read and then like the last two weeks of the month I read so much so who knows <laughs> I also don't have very many books left on my actual TBR like this shelf is basically my TBR and then there's some manga but I've been kind of saving my manga because I feel like manga is really fun to read in like the summertime and I'm not in the mood to read manga at the moment. So that's my manga TBR books. And then down here, that's all I have left of my TBR books. I also might go book shopping. Again, it is my spring break. And I think my boyfriend and I have plans to go and pick up some books. Especially because there's been so many new releases that I really, really want. So I probably will end up reading some of those this month too. I know for a fact that Dylan and I want to try to read Clarissa Gwenawan's new book together. So hopefully... Those getting some new releases and new books like inspires me to read more. I find that when I do get this low on TBR books, it does like, I love having a tiny TBR, but it does like kind of affect me because I'm like, oh, I'm not like super excited about any of these. So it makes me like not want to pick up books as much, but it's a cycle. It's fine. <laughs> but anyways, before I end this video, I do have my Sipsby unboxing for the month. This is my March box and I'm actually really excited about this because I feel like I'm in a little bit of a tea rut. Like I'm in a book rut. I feel like I'm in a tea rut. I just feel like I keep going back to the same teas over and over and like not drinking any new ones. And I feel like a little bored. Like I used to like look forward to my tea every morning and every afternoon. And now I'm just kind of like... <sighs> I don't really want any tea so 
I'm really hoping I have some good picks in here. If y'all are new here or don't know what Sipsby is, Sipsby is a like subscription tea service that they send you a personalized box of tea each month and I've been working with them for almost a year now which is crazy but um yeah also people always ask me like how I get such good boxes quote unquote and I just want to tell you guys when you get a box and try each tea, go on to the Sipsby website and rate them out of five, and they take that into consideration. So if you're constantly saying like, oh, like I really don't like this fruit tea, or I really don't like this brand, or whatever, they'll stop sending you it. <laughs> so like mine, again, it has like a year of information now, so that's how I get such good boxes. <laughs> but yes, all right, here are my March teas. Oh heck yeah, okay. We already got some good shit on top. We got raspberry pomegranate. I, if you guys didn't know, raspberries are my favorite food. Fun facts. And pomegranate. I also love pomegranates. So this will be a fun one. Is this a, oh, it's a green tea. I love green teas for afternoon kind of tea. So that will be good. I feel like I'm not that big into fruit teas, but anytime I do get them, I like love them. Like I love peach tea so much. So. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I've gotten white tea before and I actually really didn't like it. So I'm interested to try this white tea is pear. I freaking love pears. <laughs> um, like actual pears. I don't know. I feel like I... Do I know what artificial pear tastes like? I don't know. But um, I do love pears real in like real life. But this looks really, really cute and it's white tea. White tea I want to like, but like I haven't liked it in the past. So I hope... This one changes my mind. Okay, we have an everyday detox tea. Sipsby, do we like detox teas? I feel like detox teas have a very bad connotation to them. This is a berry and supports healthy liver function. Are they trying to say something? Do they think I drink a lot because I'm a college student? <laughs> Uh, I'll definitely give this a try. I've like always wanted to try teas that help with like um, like internal organs and stuff. Like I have a lot of stomach problems. So I've always been interested in teas like this, but I always get scared because like detox teas sound bad. <laughs> what the heck is this? I have these little like, these honestly look like candies. Like what are these? Tea drops, matcha green tea. One tea drop. Loose leaf tea that dissolves? What? Ditch your tea bag. So you pour a cup of water, like a hot water, you just drop this in it, and you drink it. What? That's so cool. Oh wow, this is so cool. So this package is recyclable. And then you don't have any sort of tea bag or anything. You just put this in your tea, in a cup of water, and it makes a cup of tea. That is so cool. Because I've honestly been trying to figure out, like, new teas and stuff. And, like, obviously loose leaf teas have been, are better for the environment and everything. And actually, sips beads, I didn't get any this time. I guess I don't have any loose leaf teas. But they usually send a little baggie of, um tea bags that you make uh, a tea bag out of loose leaf teas and they're compostable so I'm always on the look for making little changes like that because obviously tea doesn't really need like all this packaging and stuff it's just herb leaves so like we don't really need like all this like little individual packaging and stuff so I really appreciate when companies make an effort to do something different but all right these are this is probably one of my most interesting boxes i feel like i almost always get some sort of black tea or like chai tea sipsby knows i love chai <laughs> so this is a very very interesting box and i will definitely be trying one of these probably this afternoon to be honest so yeah that is my sipsby box for the month of march i hope you guys all enjoyed this unboxing Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this currently reading video and definitely tell me down in the comments below what you guys are currently reading as well as if you've read any of these books. And anyways, I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye!